Hi everybody, this is Angie from ToriAngie.com and today I'm at the Lake Shawnee area. I will be taking a left down here on Route 10 heading towards Lash Meet. But this video is dedicated to basically the history of Lake Shawnee. You can stay straight on 19 and just go not even a quarter of a mile and over to the left you would have been able to see Lake Shawnee very easily. Now there's a fence and it's all grown up and you can see the big like fishing pond but that's basically all you can see. But everything to the right from right here was Lake Shawnee. Just up the road a little bit is a turn off to the right. I'm not turning down it because it's gated off. I couldn't even get my whole car into the turn off. That was for Lake Shawnee. But like I said, Lake Shawnee is what we're going to be talking about today. I found some interesting advertisements and I wanted to read, read to you. I'm sure most of you have heard Lake Shawnee stuff in the past for its paranormal activity. It's been on Travel Channel, Ghost Hunter shows, different things just because of the paranormal activity. I'm not really going to get into all that today because I found this advertisement and I thought I would share. I want to read to you directly from the advertisement and it's from Lake Shawnee operated and in connection with the Virginia Hotel and at this point I'm not even sure when it was released this uh, flyer or brochure but back then single rooms at the Virginian Hotel in Princeton were a dollar to two dollars and double rooms were a dollar fifty to three dollars so that tells you how old this little flyer is so I'm going to read to you some of the information about uh, Lake Shawnee from the flyer. Lake Shawnee has one of the la largest concrete swimming pools in the state of West Virginia. Here you can bathe and swim in pure, uncontaminated mountain water, furnished by 12 natural mountain springs. Continuously running water frequently changes the water in the pool, and it is constantly being chlorinated for your health and protection. Lake Shawnee is located four and one half miles north of Princeton, West Virginia at the intersections of US Route 19 and 21 from Beckley. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't even remember Route 21 from Beckley. I just remember this always being the old Route 19 Beckley Road. Um, of course, I'm on 10 now, which is mentioned here also. It says uh, State Route 10 from Mullins, West Virginia is also a route. So the Greyhound bus line and consolidated bus lines tender regular daily transportation services. Lake Shawnee is open from May 30th till sep early September. Now, I remember my grandmother's sister, so it would be my great aunt, uh, renting a cabin over here for her and her family. I don't, well, actually, I don't remember it. Uh, I wasn't even born yet, but I remember hearing stories about it, that uh, they would rent a cabin over here back in the 50s and 60s. I, of course, I wasn't even a thought back at that time. But here it says, the log cabins provide sleeping quarters for five guests, two double beds, and one cot. Either cots or beds, may, additional beds or cots, maybe for a, a, for a fee. Uh, the rates were reasonable. $15 per week for a party of five. $1 per week for each additional guest. Linens can be furnished at $0.50 cents per week for each bed or cot. Cabin and hotel guests are entitled to all swimming privileges free of charge. The swimming rates enable both young and old to participate in the great pleasure. Children under 12 years of age were 15, a cent, 15 cents, adults 25 cents. Bathing suits are available per 15 cents per person. Swimming instructions are furnished for those who desire to learn. A restaurant in the pavilion is prepared to serve plate lunches for 35 cents, <clears throat> sandwiches and refreshments. These frame cabins provide sleeping quarters for four guests. These are the, uh, I guess, a little bit better cabins. They have electric lights, 
cooking ranges. Uh, it says all cabins are equipped with electric lights, cooking ranges, and water, or running water. The frame houses uh, rates are $10 per week for a party of four with a dollar per week for an additional guest. Uh, also, it also mentions in here, Mercer County Golf Course is eight miles distance away from Lake Shawnee. Fishing is available at numerous streams within a short drive. The New River, Bluestone, and Greenbrier River trout fish trout fishing at Camp Creek, Rich Creek, Indian Creek, and East River. Dancing is available at all times. A special attraction in dancing is provided one evening each week. So it's a cute little old, um, well, advertisement. Uh, it says, cool, invigorating mountain breezes, amusement, recreation, and pleasure for all make the resolution to have a real vacation this summer make friends be carefree and enjoy yourself in an informal social atmosphere i thought this was very very cute so from the picture you can say that the pool was really big back in the day i don't even remember the pool by the time i was able to go to the lake shawnee i remember the some of the amusement rides like a ferris wheel but later on it wasn't it does not seem like it was too far after uh i had went that there was uh no more uh, basically it shut down you could still see remnants of the old ferris wheel in the uh in the land from pictures or on the shows that you see on the travel channel but honestly just from the road, I couldn't see anything. It's all grown up over there. Since basically we're at the Lashmead area, since I went on and on and on talking about Lake Shawnee, I'll mention Lashmead just a second, but I'll have another video on my drive back through specifically dedicated to Lashmead. But I will mention the Grace Presbyterian Church in Lashmead. The area, uh, Lashmeet area Presbyterians met in an old schoolhouse on Lashmeet Road prior to 1940 with the idea to form a new church. Reverend, Reverend W.R. Smith was the first pastor. Miss Florence Dolphy organized Sunday school with Reverend Smith on January 7, 1940. The congregation worked to raise funds to build the present Grace Presbyterian Church moving in 1940 with the dedication taking place on March 10, 1949 with Fred E. Manning serving as pastor. Let's see. Elders were Wilbert Thompson, Amon Thompson, Jack Porter, James Justice, Dillard Shrewsbury, and Burles McKinney. It really doesn't give any more information. It missed uh, charter members and um, different things. But it does not talk about much else about it. In uh, 2010, a uh, population census was done and there were 479 people in Lashmead. It's a little bit larger than Kegley, which was on my past video, but not by much. That's about all I have to say right now. Like I said, I will talk more about Lashmead in a future video. But this was all about Lake Shawnee as I'm continuing my drive on to Matoka. So this is Angie from TorAngie.com. Come to my website, read my blogs, make appointments, so I can help you plan your next travel adventure. Talk to you later.